my weekend has been full of friends and dance at the Stanley Hotel. There was this kind of gothic band that's playing there. And um, I got to dress in costume and we all got to do our unique costumes and help each other with our makeup and do all these things. And this is a group of friends that I travel the world with and, and, and do amazing creative things in that way. And yet it never fails in the evening and the morning before the event that we're doing. We have some deep conversations, really deep conversations, because there's more to life than just the fun of it. Right. There's all this other stuff. And every time we get together, it goes deeper and deeper. And it's what a gift it is. We get to invite each other without a, a, an official invitation, <laughs> just from the heart to lean in. Each one bringing their unique gifts and inviting each other's. The last night, um, we got to speaking about death. I just started a death doula certification course. So it's, it's, in, it's on my heart. How do, how do I want to experience my End of, end of cycles and things. And how do I want to support others in my world? And the community that I live in, our community. And so I got to sharing some of that. And each one was so thankful that I opened it up, opened up that conversation. Because it's lingering. Wars and just the world is, there's a lot of craziness in the world, instability. And how do we relate to that? How can I make a difference? Can I make a difference in Loveland, Colorado, in this little town here? And what kind of legacy am I going to leave behind? Am I going to leave behind? And how do I want my end of cycles to be? Boy, that is a huge part of life, right? <laughs> it was interesting how we naturally evolved to acknowledging each other's gifts. One brings the food and cooks all the meals and makes all the mess in the kitchen. But if it's the sense of home, you know, one brings the mothering, mothering energy, womb space, stability, welcome. And mine was family. I was like, Oh, okay. <laughs> My blood families in Hawaii and Iowa and different places. But Sunrise Ranch and Missouri's Divine Light is also a family, right? And yet they were saying, I bring that to this group. You always bring the sense of family, the core. And I'm like, wow. So I've been reflecting on that. Because I wasn't intently doing that. This is mine to bring. This is my gift to bring. It was just naturally brought out of me. And then the acknowledgement was such a sweet gift as well. And then we're all acknowledging each other. I guess I bring this up is because the triangle in the wheel. That agreement. That we are looking at a higher orientation together and then bringing our gifts to complete that triangle. In the Hawaiian culture. The top of the triangle is Io, Keakua, source of life. And then this other part is land. And then this other one is man. Man is the only one that makes it wonky. <laughs> but then what about in relationships? You know, partner, co-workers, community, world. If we're pulling at each other in the bottom of the, the triangle, that rim is all wonky, isn't it? That's mine. How dare you say that? What do you mean by that? Questioning that, that poem. And being precise with our words. If Gary was what I was feeling, being that center point is so crucial to that triangle being strong. And doing it without expectation or limitation to the other parts of that triangle. But acknowledging the larger part of the wheel and our part, our place in that wheel. So crucial. Wow. And then in the holographic experience, we can feel into the all that is through these relationships, through this project, through this situation. 
knowing that there's a larger outworking and that it's a beautiful journey to experience this. So I'm thankful for the opportunity to lean into my world, to share how I'm feeling that I'm leaning in and inviting those in my world to lean in while it's naturally just happening as well. It doesn't negate all the big stuff that's happening around, but from here, we can hold that strong center place.